Big Cat Sightings UK I received these sketches when two individuals, eminently qualified in observational reporting, were driving down a country road at 03.00 with a wood to their left when a large black animal, length estimated in their own words as between 3 to 4 feet, height about 2 to 2 and 1 half feet, walked in front of the car from right to left in the light of the main beam of the car. The cat was described as black. When they got to the point where the cat had entered the wood they stopped the car and both got out and searched the area for signs of the animal. Upon returning to their car both people undertook a drawing of what they saw, these drawings are reproduced below. It should be noted that the names and signatures of the witnesses have been smudged to provide confidentiality. Any other information such as date and time has been left to indicate authenticity. The following photographs are part of an investigation undertaken by myself and Paul Westwood of Big Cat Monitors. In 2006 Paul and I were asked to investigate the mysterious death of two alpacas taken and killed from out of a wall of compound housing 12 other adult alpacas. What is remarkable about this is not the damage to the animal, as this is inconclusive, but the nature of an animal being killed. Alpacas have been introduced into Great Britain to protect herds of sheep from marauding dogs. Alpacas will attack dogs and have little or no fear of them. The two dead alpacas, one of which is photographed below, was taken from a herd of 12 alpacas over a large compound wall. A number of experts in animal behavior have found this staggering and unlikely to be the work of a dog, or dogs, whatever their size. After a three-day investigation of the area several witnesses were found who had seen a large black Labrador-sized cat in the area. All were interviewed and all were found credible and knowledgeable in countryside issues. It was agreed with key witnesses that they would keep in touch should matters develop further. Two weeks prior to my investigation of the alpaca the following ram was found dead in the field next to the alpaca enclosure, see picture below. After consultations with experts in big cat behavior there is left a strong conviction that a big cat has killed this ram. Paraphrasing their comments it would appear that a single large cat had killed the ram and had had time to eat the kill at leisure before being disturbed. A dog or several dogs was ruled out due to the clean nature of the area being eaten, no bite marks or damage was found on any other part of the kill. Please note that whatever had killed the ram has eaten through the ribcage of the animal suggesting that badger had not been scavenging the carcass, please see scavenging by badger section. As a footnote several lambs have also been killed after the death of the ram and the investigation continues. A professional person with qualifications very conducive to the identification of cats and dogs, indeed their qualifications and experience are of such a unique nature that they could be used on the witness stand in a legal case. Witness was out riding their horse along a trail through a local forest. The horse stopped and became very uneasy. About 30 seconds later as witness A was trying to reassure the animal a black cat larger than a Labrador, with a very long black tail, walked out into the forest track about 5 meters in front of witness A. It stopped in the middle of the track and looked at the horse, it then flipped a tail, and walked into the dense foliage the other side of the trail. When the witness was asked if they could have mistaken the animal for a dog, the witness stated, I clearly know the difference between a cat and a dog. I again state that Witness B has highly creditable qualifications and experience to substantiate the aforementioned statement and the sighting as a whole. Forest track typical of sighting location, Big Cat, Big Cats? Key Investigation 9, Northeast. Once more a highly qualified individual, a specialist whose qualifications include making assessments of animal movement patterns as well as holding a prominent and active fieldwork role within a well-known environmental organization, had a close encounter with a big cat whist undertaking an environmental survey. The witness was walking in a valley dotted with woodland. Walking along the side of a hedge a very loud and strange cat-like scream, hiss was heard behind the witness. The witness turned round to see a black cat about the size of a Labrador with pointed ears and a tail as long as its body emerged from a bush which they had just walked past. The cat looked straight at the witness, from a distance of no more than 5 meters, for about 30 seconds and then turned and walked back into the bushes. The witness was somewhat taken aback and walked away slowly facing the bush the cat had emerged from. Once more to protect the identity and location of the individual more specifics of their expertise in animal identification has been withheld. I have no doubts that their expertise and experience in animal identification makes this person an extremely reliable and credible individual. 
This investigation is currently ongoing and involves working with the owners, witness A, of a farm who for a number of years have been regularly experiencing the deaths of their livestock. On two occasions at early dusk they have seen a large black cat with a long tail about the size of a Labrador. A close personal friend whilst riding a horse in a nearby wood was thrown when their horse reared at the very large black cat stepped out in front of the horse when riding down a forest clearing. The owners have involved myself in their experiences after they found their latest dead ewe. The ewe had been killed about 30 yards from the bottom left hand corner of this field, see picture below. The ewe was then dragged to a small dell hidden by trees with a small stream running through it. This dell is well hidden and can only be seen within 10 yards of where the carcass was devoured, see picture below. This breed of sheep at this age would on average weigh 79 ib. The remains of the carcass on the date of the investigation was 19 ib. The sheep, when alive, was noted by the farmers as being a little under the weather at 9 p.m. the previous evening and in the morning the witnesses went to check if the animal's possible condition had worsened. What they found was the remains of its carcass with puncture wounds to its neck, its spine broken in two places and several ball and socket joints in its legs cleanly dislocated, no trauma or bite marks were found around the joints, see picture below. I inspected the dell for an hour for animal tracks and found no tracks at all, neither fox, badger, dog or cat. This sheep appears initially to have been killed by a bite to the throat and probably then suffocated, see picture below. As you can see the puncture wound is clearly visible and above this a pressure mark can be vaguely made out but sadly was not clearly recordable on film. What was recorded in the next photograph were two clear bruises more than 12 cm around from the aforementioned clear puncture wound see picture below. The next photograph shows the ewe's neck after it has been skinned and shows the clear hemorrhaging around the windpipe area of the animal. After examination it was found that the windpipe was not crushed or punctured. It is surmised that the predator applied just enough pressure to suffocate the animal. Perhaps that's why the animal did not need to break the skin on the aforementioned photograph? See photograph below. However, this may not have been the cause of death as the next photograph shows the spine of the sheep snapped in too close to, but not at, the base of the skull, see image below. Was the sheep dead or dying from the broken spine before it was suffocated? Or was the spine broken in the initial attack when the predator affixed itself to the sheep's windpipe? As I'm not a big cat expert, in any sense of the word, I find the case perplexing and with the undoubted knowledge of the witnesses, the number of big cat sightings in the area, and the unlikely cause of this death by a dog, taking into account that no other sheep were damaged during the attack and my investigations of other big cat events, perhaps a big cat was involved? Further to this during my two-day investigation of the area a scat, animal feces, was found that did not match any eye where the farmers had seen before, nor my book on animal tracks and signs. Photographs of the scat have been forwarded to animal experts in the field of big cats and should the picture prove to be of interest the scat will be forwarded for examination, the results of this will be placed upon the site once received. The investigation continues.